Hey, everybody. So I want us to be able to use two assets that Unity provides for us um, to make building our prototypes a little bit easier. And those assets are the first person controller and the third person controller. Unfortunately, in order to use those assets, we need to be using at least Unity 2020.3 or higher. Right now, I think we're all using Unity 2019.4, I believe. So we need to download a new version of Unity, and then we need to start working in that version. So what I want you guys to do is open up your Unity Hub, and you'll see that there's a few different selections on the left side of this window. Mostly we've been looking at projects because that's where we'll see a list of our projects that we can open. But I want you guys to click on Installs. And if you click on Installs, you'll see that they're probably just one for you. But this is a list of where every version of Unity that's currently installed on your computer will show up. So what I want you to do is click the Add button. When you click that, this dialog will pop up. And I want you to select the recommended release, which is Unity 2020.3.12F1, LTS. And the LTS means that it's the most recent stable, most recent, most stable version of Unity. Uh, LTS stands for long-term support. Then once you have that selected, you can click next. On this pop-up, the only things that you really have to have selected are Mac build support, WebGL build support, and Windows build support. And that just means that, this is something that we haven't done yet, but that just means that you can make your game work on Macs, Windows, and for WebGL. WebGL is what we're going to be using. I would leave the documentation selected so that you also download the documentation. Then click Done. It'll start downloading Unity. And this may take a while, depending on how fast your internet is. So please, please, please don't wait until one minute before Wednesday's class to do this. Start it maybe even today or tomorrow so that when Wednesday rolls around, it'll be all the way installed already. Okay, so it's almost finished downloading. You can see the progress bar up here at the top is almost at the end. So as soon as it is done downloading, it should start installing. And now we just have to wait a minute until it's finished installing. So you can see here that the installation is complete because the little progress bar at the top has disappeared. So now this version of Unity is installed on my computer along with all of the older versions. If I go back over to projects, then I can make a new Unity project, but I can choose the newest version of Unity if I click on this arrow instead of clicking the new button. So I'm gonna click this arrow. I'm gonna choose 2020.3. 0.12 F1, oops. It's gonna bring up the dialog window that we're familiar with. I'm gonna choose 3D. I'm gonna name this Unity project. Let's name it Mission Bit 2. And then I can choose a location where I wanna save it. Then if I click Create, it's going to take a minute, but you'll notice that it's opening a new version of Unity because this version of Unity is 2019.4. Uh, so I'm going to quit Unity 2019.4 so that when this project is complete, I can work in 2020.3.12F1.